This is a bang average watch that costs way too much money. Why did I buy it? Well, it's funny you should ask. It's because a footballer told me to. Footballers advertise anything on their Instagram to millions of us. But do we ever buy anything they promote? No! I've made a list of the 25 most followed footballers on the planet. And whatever any of them advertise in the next week, I will buy. No matter what. So hopefully someone promotes M&Ms. They're... They're my favorite sweet. But a lot of these ads are for products I've never even heard of before. Are footballers secretly scamming us and nobody know? How much money will I be forced to spend? Will I have to buy something that is so stupidly expensive that I regret this entire video? I love how I'm asking these questions now. Like, I I've already filmed the video. The answer is yes. So let's begin with day one. Okay, we have just the one post today and it is from none other than Son. And he is advertising a Galaxy Watch 6. Oh, f Wait a sec, this could be way too expensive. Galaxy Watch 6 costs... Oh my god, Sonny, what have you done? If you're wondering why I'm outside all of a sudden, well, it's because we had to sell the house to get this. But is this chronometer worth it? It's another name for a watch. Obviously knew that. Definitely didn't look up or anything. But first, can this thing tell the time? If it can't, then I'd be seriously worried, Samsung. Oh wait, no, hang on, I need to set it up first. Aside from just telling the time, it could do other stuff like sleep tracking, it's waterproof, and it has a camera. So if I'm ever feeling lonely, I can remind myself that I'm really good looking. But A, I don't have time to test that, and B, me, you, and everyone else watching doesn't care. So is the Galaxy Watch 6 worth it? If you don't have a phone to pair it to, no. If you do have a phone to pair it to, then you don't need one. Am I going bankrupt this week? Potentially. Have I got my M&Ms yet? Still no, but we're holding out on that one. Okay, let's move on to day two. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day because we have not one, but two sponsored posts, which means I have to spend more money. Anyway, first up we have Messi who has advertised some Gatorade. Look at the guy on the ad. He's just playing his football, drinks some Gatorade, and then he turns in to Messi. Gatorade's only about £1.50, but if it's going to turn me into Messi, I ain't complaining. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on to the test. To test this, I'm going to run from this bag right here to that jumper, which is somewhere there in the distance. I'm not sure you can really see. I'm going to do that two times. First, normally hydrated and then i'm gonna have some of this bad boy and if gatorade doesn't make me instantly faster at running with zero training whatsoever it's fraudulent i did my first sprint normally and i was not fast i'm actually really slow as you can see here anyway the time i did it in was 25.1 seconds then i drank the entire bottle of gatorade it was really sweet but for some reason it, it made me feel kind of Kind of weird, I, I don't know. I was still really tired at this point, but I ran it again anyway. I did the Gatorade sprint in 26.8 seconds, so I was a lot slower. Yeah. Is it worth it? I'm sorry, Gatorade, it's a no from me. Anyway, the other ad we have today is from Tony Cruz, and it's for, oh, it's just for some Adidas football boots. This would be good if I didn't already have a pair of Adidas football boots. Okay, these are my babies, okay? I I'm never ever getting rid of them. Okay, there's a pair here for 80 quid. Uh. I'm not even sure what to even like say here, so I just asked ChatGPT to write me a review of football boots. These football boots have been a game changer for me. The comfort, performance, and durability they offer are second to none, and they've given me a newfound confidence on the field. That might actually be the worst sentence I've ever read in my life. Are they worth it? No. There really is no reason as to why I need two pairs of boots. Suarez could probably do with them though. He, he plays football with his hands. You know what they say? Another day, another double. No one says that really. There, there's another two ads today. First we've got Erling Haaland. Please be M&Ms, please be M&Ms, please be M&Ms. It's Beats. Okay, this is a pretty inspirational ad right here. You just got Haaland and LeBron doing their thing, but how much do Beats cost? They're pretty popular, so I don't think they'll be like too much. How much do Beats cost? 
The catch of these is that they don't directly plug into your phone. They sort of just like sit on your neck like like this. I think it's to make like running easier. So if you do exercise, these are great. I don't. But the music quality is good. Am I shouting right now? I don't know. I'm, the music's really loud. Is it worth it? Um, no. See, if you rubbed off the Beats logo, these are a tenor at best. <sighs> The wonders of modern capitalism, folks. The other ad today is from Neymar, who is advertising underwear. Oh, yes. I cannot wait to get my hands on these. I just I just want to look as sexy as Neymar, to be honest. Anyway, these Skims underwear are only about 20 quid, but looking sexy like that, it's priceless in my eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa. not all at once now, ladies. Come on. The only reason why I'm wearing the tracksuit is because... There's just no way that this would be allowed on YouTube otherwise. Also, it would just be really, really weird. Are they worth it? Yeah. Actually, as I'm editing, I'm wearing these and they're comfy. Thank you, Neymar. Oh, the sun's supposed to get shit off. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's just Pepsi. It's just Pepsi. It may not be the M&Ms, but it could be worse. Pepsi. I haven't had Pepsi. Ever. So, I've got my mum to pour me two cups. One of these is Coke, the other one is Pepsi. I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna taste test both, and whichever one I prefer, wins. That was okay, that was okay. Not like anything special, good. Ooh. I'll be real with you, they taste the exact same. But if I were to give it to one, I think I'm going with this one right here. Okay, it's the moment of truth. This one is... No way! No way! It says P. This one's Pepsi. What? The other one will therefore say C? Oh my god. Does this make me a menace to society? <laughs> this moment has just changed the course of my life. I will be that guy. Is it worth it? Yes. The only downside is that I'm now a freak to society. It's another bit of double trouble today because we have two ads again. First of which is from Rashford, who has advertised some more football boots. Brilliant. These football boots have been a game changer for me. The comfort, performance and durability they offer are second to none and they've given me a newfound confidence on the field. Are they worth it? No. Okay, but the other ad today comes from Neymar. Again. <laughs> That's two brand deals in three days. Bruce Gang is back this week. Anyway, today he's advertised horses. <laughs> Wait. What? I clicked on the page of the horse company Neymar was advertising, and their company description reads, The exclusivity of owning a purebred Lusticano. Is that how you pronounce it? Horse with Olympic genetics awaits you. Is it worth it? No. I swear I remember horses being bigger than that. I don't know. I just want some M&Ms, man. Can someone just please advertise them for the love of... It's just the one ad today, and it's coming from Lewandowski, who is promoting the lottery. Yes! <laughs> it doesn't matter how much money I've spent this week now, because tonight... I am winning the jackpot. Oh my god, this is gonna be so sick. I'm buying a Ferrari, a house in the Maldives, M&M's, designer clothes, M&M's, FIFA points, m and I went out to get some tickets for the lottery and also the Bahamas too, because when I win tonight, I'm wasting no time. I'm, I'm going straight on holiday. And I am so ready. Right, they're just about to read them out. I've gone for number 17, my lucky number. Number 50, because... A high number. Number seven, the goat. Number 10, the goat. Number 44, the goat. And number 12, the goat. Okay, they're just about to start. Here we go. Is it worth it? No. 
my last shot at some M&Ms. Please, someone, please. We have two ads today, the first of which is from Ronaldo. But what is the most followed person in the history of humanity advertising to me today? Well, it's, it's his fragrance. Yeah, it's, it's just his CR7 fragrance. He's advertising. Has anyone ever worn this before? Besides Ronaldo himself. I feel like everyone knows Ronaldo has a fragrance, but no one actually has it. Maybe it's a lie. Maybe it's a money laundering scheme no one knows about. I think Ronaldo should go to jail. Anyway, it's only like 15 pounds. Not that Ronaldo needs that or anything. In fairness, it, it does actually smell quite good. Is it worth it? Yeah, it tastes amazing. Oh wait, no, it's meant to be smell. Our today is from Erling Haaland again, who this time has advertised FC24. I, I already have the game. So I just played the game, which is fun, I guess. This week has made me realize three things. A, I have a worrying obsession with M&Ms. It, it really needs solving. B, I think I'm gonna need to get a real job now. And C, and I know this is kind of obvious, but I think buying for yourself is is just fine. Take it from the guy who just spent his entire life savings on this video. Bye.